In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a diamond thread in Python. A diamond thread is a special variant of a regular thread, but with one small difference that actually makes a pretty big difference in the end. Now, exactly what this does, I'm going to show you through the help of an example. So let's create a simple thread first using the thread class from the threading module. And this has a target, okay, a target function. We'll call that function task. And what this does is uh, I trades over this 10 times and prints out hello world and then goes to sleep for 0 0.5 seconds. Now let's run this code. Actually, we need to start it first, then we need to join it. And now we run this and this prints out hello world 10 times. Okay, now the program is over. Now that's a regular thread. Now, what is a diamond thread? How can we convert this to a diamond thread? Let's take a look at that first. All we need to do is turn the diamond parameter to true. Now this is a diamond thread. Now, if I just run this, it's actually gonna do the exact same thing. So the difference is not obvious unless you know what you're looking for. What we need to do actually is remove this over here. Okay, remove thread.join. Now what I'm going to do is remove this as well and run our code. All right, now just observe the entire output, all 10 lines was printed out. And we need to remove join. Okay, do not include this line if you want to use the diamond threads behavior. All right, and I'll explain why we need to do that in a minute. I just showed you that because I know all of us, when we create threads, we pretty much always use join. So I just wanna make it clear, do not use this if you want to use a diamond thread. All right, now, if I convert this to a diamond thread and run this code again, we'll notice that there's something very different about the way this works, okay? Just look at this first, just remember, when we ran this with diamond is equal to false, this printed out 10 times. But if I run this with diamond is equal to true, this printed out just once and finished. That's it. Now, what exactly is going on here? Well, a diamond thread is basically a special kind of thread that finishes its execution that terminates itself automatically once the main thread is finished. Okay, now a non-diamond thread is going to continue its execution independently of whether the main thread has finished or not. The main thread finishes right here. Okay, main thread finished. And that's because it finished this last line. It executed this last line. It started the thread and now it's done. There's no more code for it to execute. So it's just going to finish, finish itself. The diamond thread will automatically close itself. And we can observe this behavior a little better if we put our program to sleep for two seconds. Okay, now watch. This printed out four times. Four times because we slept our program for two seconds and we were waiting 0 0.5 seconds between the different print statements. Okay, but if I turn this to false and now we run our code, it's going to print out a whole 10 seconds because it doesn't matter whether our program finishes or not. And let's make this even more obvious by actually printing out when our main thread finishes. And let's do the entire thing one more time. All right, look, main thread finished, but the thread continued anyway because it's a non-diamond thread. But if I turn this true and then run the code again, it's going to see the output stopped as soon as the main thread finished. That's just the concept I wanted to, you know, build with you guys. And what I'll do is just describe one more scenario. You still might be a little confused as to where diamond threads are used. You know what they are, but you don't know how, where to use them. That might be the case. Now, a diamond thread is used for tasks like autosaving, like logging, like taking input, basically these kind of background tasks like the things that run infinitely in the background, you don't actively pay attention to them. They don't actively 
perform some kind of critical tasks. They're just there in the background, constantly doing their duty. Okay, and they automatically end with the main thread. You don't need to worry about closing them yourself. That's basically their behavior. Now let's take a look at one practical example. I'm gonna take input over here, okay? Value is equal to input, and then print out value. And we'll put this in a loop, okay? While true. This is gonna run infinitely. Now, what I want to do is let's keep everything else as it is. This is a diamond thread. If I run this code, just observe. Two seconds passed, and then the main thread finished. Now the problem is, the problem with this code here is that if this was a non diamond thread, it would wait forever in taking input. Okay, if I remove this over here, if I, sorry, if I remove this and make it false, look what happens. See? It's not gonna finish. It's gonna go on eternally because it's currently blocked. It's waiting for input that it might never get because the program has executed. If this was a GUI window, the window would be gone. So this is what I'm trying to tell you here, that the diamond threads are used for background stuff like this, to take input, to make logs, to make autosaves, stuff like that, okay? Our little program down here is still not finished, so I'll manually close it because there's no other way of doing it now. I'll just manually close it using control C. Okay, and that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you thought you learned something new today, if you found this content interesting, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. I hope to see you guys in a later video. Bye then.